Hello everybody, so in this video I want to make some really easy homemade battery and then I will see what current I can expect. So guys, like I said before, in this video I want to make some really easy homemade battery which is actually made from some materials which you can find in your home or you can buy the materials really easily on the internet. And then I will measure the current to see what current I can expect out from some homemade battery. And actually this is because several days ago I had some conversation with my friends about homemade batteries and actually they complain about the current output and every time when they make some homemade battery like zinc or aluminium battery they had some problems with the current because the current was always really low and they struggle really hard to make some battery which will have some current about 1 amp or even more and just for this reason in this video I will make some homemade battery uh, where I will demonstrate that uh, making some cell which can reach to one amp or even more is actually not so hard even with some household materials. So guys actually when you make some battery cell which will have some really nice current then you always need to remember that the current is affected by the size and also by the surface area of the electrodes. So higher is the surface area and larger is the electrode, more current you will get out from your cell. But you also need to note that the voltage of the cell have no effect on the size of the electrodes because the cell voltage is dependent what kind of chemistry you will use in your cell. And over here I have some basic materials with which I will make this homemade battery. So over here I have some zinc. This zinc can be really easily find on eBay. Just type in uh, for zinc sheets and you will find a lot of this stuff. Then over here I have some grapple. Also this grapple you can really easily find on internet. Here I have this activated carbon powder and uh, actually this activated carbon powder is meant for cosmetics. Uh, then here I have some separator. Uh, this, this separator is actually made from some uh, kitchen paper. And the electrolyte is actually made from some uh, salt and water. So here I mix together 30 milliliters of uh, water and 5 grams of table salt. And now first of all I can make some slurry. Uh, I will mix together the electrolyte and the activated carbon powder. Oops. Okay. Okay. This would be good. And the separator. I will wet with the electrolyte. And then this one I will put on this piece of zinc. And actually some really basic homemade battery is ready. So first of all I will measure the voltage. And yeah, because I use some only activated carbon powder for the active material and some salt water for the electrolyte, the voltage is only one volt. But if I add a little bit of manganese dioxide to the activated carbon powder, uh, then the voltage will be increased. Uh, and also if I replace the salt water with some potassium hydroxide electrolyte, 
then the voltage of this cell will be in the region of 1.5 to 1.6 volts. But in this setup, which I have over here, uh, produce only one volt. But now uh, I will also measure the current because actually this is the point of this video to see what current will this homemade battery produce in this short current test. So I go to 10 amps. And yeah, so actually I don't have any problems uh, to reach to 2 amps. Oh yeah. I need to press hard together to make some really good contact. And now I can also go a little bit further by making a little bit more bigger cell uh, in the dimensions of 10 by 10 centimeters. So again, here I have some zinc, uh, some grapple, and some separator. And here I have also this activated carbon powder, which was mixed with the table salt electrolyte. So first I will add some electrolytes. And now on the separator I will add this activated carbon slurry. And the cell is ready. So only what I need to do is to press a little bit harder down and then I can measure uh, the current. So again first I will measure the voltage. And yeah, so here I get 1.1 volts. So actually here you can see that uh, the size of the electrodes have no impact on uh, the voltage itself. Then amps. Four point seven. It starts with four point seven amps, uh, but I need to press a little bit harder down. Four 
5.4 amps And now what I can do, I can also replace the zinc anode with aluminium foil like this one. Here I have some kitchen foil uh, to make some homemade aluminium battery. Like so. First the voltage. So this aluminum battery with this setup have a little bit less voltage, which is around 0.7 volts. Let's check the current. Almost 3 amps. So the current output of this homemade aluminium battery is not so high like previously on the zinc battery. But on the other hand, the aluminium battery have a little bit higher uh, capacity uh, as uh, zinc version. So I was also thinking that maybe one day I can also make some live stream where I can make some homemade aluminum air battery and then I can make some complete discharge with some motor. So guys, for now that's it about this homemade battery and we see us in the next video. Bye.